Tesla just reversed its position and reinstituted the Powerwall Direct program. Now you'll be able to buy Tesla Powerwalls directly from Tesla and have them shipped directly to your home. What does this mean for homeowners that are shopping for solar plus storage? And what does this mean if you're a Tesla certified installation partner? We're going to be answering those questions and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past 10 years, I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge, you're gonna find expert reviews on solar panels, batteries, uh, inverters, pretty much all the different equipment and technology that makes up a home renewable energy system. You're also gonna find product news and industry news like today's video here where we're talking about Tesla's new policy and basically reversing their policy and reinstituting direct Tesla Powerwall sales to homeowners. Now, about two years ago, Tesla changed their policy where you could buy Tesla Powerwalls directly. Um, even if you already had solar and just wanted to add, uh, add the battery, Tesla would sell the batteries directly to homeowners. Um, but they canceled that program about two years ago and they changed it so that if you wanted a Tesla Powerwall battery, you had to buy an end-to-end -end solar system from Tesla. Tesla solar panels, Tesla inverter, and you would have to have Tesla uh, do the installation for you. And so a lot of homeowners didn't like this because, uh, I mean, if, well, you all know in the Solar Surge audience, if you look at some of the online reviews and the forums about the Tesla installation process, um, there's a, a lot left to be desired from the homeowner perspective, uh, especially in terms of customer service, communication, um, and just time of installation. You know, we had reports of some, some folks that were having to wait over a year to have their Tesla Powerwall installed. Um, but Tesla was able to do that, and basically they said, look, if you want a Powerwall battery, you're going to have to get the whole system from Tesla. We'll put everything together. We'll make sure everything is compatible, everything is working properly have us install it and warranty it for you. And so that actually, I think, boosted a lot of demand for alternate battery products. Uh, batteries like the Franklin Whole Home, for example, uh, or the Enphase IQ battery, uh, or the new Canadian Solar EPQ battery. Um, I think all of those brands benefited from limited access to the Tesla Powerwall, which I have to admit is the most popular brand in the home battery space, the Tesla Powerwall. But now Tesla says they're going to restart the Powerwall Direct program. And so if you are a homeowner, whether you're buying a brand new system um, or you're looking to retrofit your existing solar system with battery storage, you're able to go straight to the Powerwall website, put in your zip code and your shipping address, and you, they will give you a quote and allow you to order the Powerwalls and have them shipped directly to you as a homeowner. Now this is also a really new development and I'm very curious how this is going to play out because typically if you ordered the Powerwall from Tesla, you still had to wait for Tesla's crew to come and, and install the battery for you. It wasn't one of these mail order deals where you just order the battery and it comes derives to your house. But now what Tesla's saying is you can actually order the Powerwall direct from them and they are offering some low pricing. I'll, I'll, I'll call that out as well. The pricing that we're seeing here is less than $10,000 for the first battery and then volume discounts after that. If you want to add second, third, fourth, or even, you know, five or six batteries, you know, you'll have a volume discount on a per unit basis there. Um, that's also going to cause a lot of trouble with Tesla certified installation partners, in my opinion. Now, I know folks out there, I've, I've gotten a lot of feedback. People think I'm being paid by one of the Tesla competitors like Franklin or Enphase. Um, the reality is I'm not paid by either of those companies, um, and I also do sell the Tesla Powerwall. You know, here at Solar Surge, we represent multiple contractors who are Tesla certified installation partners. So if you live in California right now, for example, and you want a Tesla Powerwall, I'd be happy to sell it to you. However, what I'm seeing is that the cost to acquire a Tesla Powerwall through a Tesla certified installation partner is significantly higher than what Tesla is advertising direct on their website, which creates a potential conflict of interest 
between Tesla and its so-called installation partners. Now, you all may recall the video that I posted about two years ago entitled Tesla Stabs Its Customers and Its Partners in the Back. And at the time, I was talking about some of the difficulties it's been to be a Tesla partner. At the time, the issue we were dealing with was mainly uh, just delays in delivery. And I had some of my clients that were having to wait eight months, 10 months, even over a year to get their battery installed. But I think this new Powerwall Direct policy is also going to create a conflict between Tesla and its installation partners. Because if you can go to the Tesla website and order a battery for nine or $10,000, but that same battery costs you, let's say $15,000 to have it professionally installed, it leads to, well, first of all, a lot of homeowners may never even deal with talking to the installation partner, but it's gonna then lead to perhaps some uncomfortable conversations between homeowners and installers as to why the installed cost of a Tesla Powerwall is significantly higher through a Tesla partner than what Tesla is advertising on its website. Now, this is not unlike what happens with other types of construction. For example, if, if you're a custom home builder, or let's say you're a homeowner and, and you're in the process or you're shopping for uh, having a custom home built for you, um, if you were to go, let's say you went to ABC Building Supply and you priced out trusses and two by fours and plywood and nails and screws and you, you, know, you came up with this all the material list of what it would take to build a house and then you look at what the same cost of that house would be if you hired a general contractor to build it for you, soup to nuts, and deliver a finished product with a warranty, there's gonna be about a, you know, a two to three X difference in just the direct material cost versus the total finished cost of the product. And I think you're gonna see a similar thing here in solar where you know, a number of consumers are gonna go straight to Tesla and see a price of you know, nine or $10,000, and then they're gonna to talk to an installer and, and see that the price is more like $15,000 to have the system installed. And again, I, I foresee a number of potential conflicts there. Now, my opinion is Tesla needs to make up its mind which way it wants to go here in the industry. Does it wanna be a manufacturing company and just focus on manufacturing and putting out great products and well-designed products? Or does it wanna be in the construction business? Now you'll recall when Tesla acquired SolarCity, SolarCity was a failing solar construction business, right? They were in the business of installing solar panels, not man manufacturing the panels or the batteries. And Tesla decided to bring all that in-house under the new brand, Tesla Energy. But ever since Tesla has been operating in the construction space, they too, to my knowledge, have not figured out how to turn it into a profitable operation and one that has a positive reputation in terms of customer experience. And so I think this is another potential friction point where, okay, Tesla can get homeowners a cheap battery and they'll even ship the battery directly to you. And then they'll offer to perhaps matchmake you with a certified installer in your area and then leave the homeowners to negotiate the installation cost or perhaps have Tesla do the installation themselves. So I foresee a bunch of problems here, uncomfortable conversations with homeowners, uh, more strained relations between Tesla and its so-called you know, installation partners. I say so-called because I'm not, I'm not convinced that Tesla long-term wants to have installation partners or if they wanna do all of that activity in-house. If you listen to Elon speak about his long-term vision for the business, it sounds a lot more like Tesla wants to kind of control everything in-house from, from the mining of the raw materials, the manufacturing of the equipment, and then the actual, the actual on-site installation of that equipment. So we'll see where this goes, folks. But as of right now, Tesla Powerwall Direct is back in full effect. You can read more about it at the Tesla Powerwall website. Um, and of course, keep up with Solar Surge, where we're going to do uh, our best to make sure that you stay up to date with the latest relevant industry news. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.